Hey everybody, it's Scott the Steenroller Steen with winnersandwiners.com coming to you with the one and only Steenroller free play of the day. As always, if you're digging what we're doing, having a little fun, making a buck or two, we'd appreciate it if you give us the thumbs up, give everybody a chance to do it here right at the beginning. I'll count it down, hover over that thumb. Here we go. Get ready to smash. Three, two, one. Smash that bucker. There you go. Smash it, hit it, pummel it, pulverize it. Send it into the next century. All right, nicely done, everybody. Thanks very much. Hey, if you haven't subscribed already to our channel, please consider doing that. Check out winnersandwiners.com. If you're looking for a second opinion on any of these games or any others, always there, always free previews and predictions every game, every day. And, of course, we want to know what you're playing. Put those plays in the comment section, whatever they are. All I need to know is if you got an angle, you got a winner, you get them right, you know what, we'll give you the shout-out. You get enough of them right. And you could be the capper of the day. All right, guys, a uh, quick recap of yesterday. Hey, we did okay. We, uh, for once, we didn't, get, uh, we didn't get beat by a half a point in a total. It was, uh, it, you know, when it was sitting there at the, with about four minutes left and they just couldn't quite score, I'm like, oh, no, 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 this isn't going to be a world-class beat. And it wasn't. So over the total, 223 and a half, it goes no sweaty, as the L.A. Clippers uh, look like. A pretty darn good team, at least for one day. So uh, there you go. We're uh, excuse me, I'm not the, I'm not the Clippers. I've got, <laughs> um, yeah, sorry, yeah, the Clippers. Sorry, guys. <laughs> yeah, the Clippers looked really good. I had it. It's late, guys. I've got new equipment. I've been messing with this stuff all day long. So I'm probably I'm sorry if I'm a little brain foggy here. Hey, nice job, Clippers. They uh, they absolutely blasted the uh, Utah Jazz. Hey, speaking of the Utah Jazz, that's, that's who we had on the premium side. So we uh, we did not win that one, but we did have the Oakland A's team total over four and a half. We just scraped by there as they put up an 11 spot on my beloved Royals. So one and one, we go on the premium side. One and oh on the free side. Two and one, you know what I say. Take that every day. So let's go ahead and get rocking with tonight's action. Taking a look at the Brooklyn Nets and the Milwaukee Bucks. Total on that game is 228. Guys, I have nowhere to go but under in this one. You know, kids, it's tough to hit overs when only one team scores. Uh, the Bucks, they're averaging just 93 points per game. Uh, the Nets, you know what? We talked about it before. They're doing their thing. They're playing off the ball. They are daring them to beat them with the jumpers. Guess what? They're not doing it. Uh, they put their best defender on Middleton. They rotate They rotate them out there, um, and they just kind of uh, taunt Holiday. Uh, into shooting and he does and he hasn't been good he's made seven, 17 of 43 from the field uh the bucks they are averaging for you basketball geeks averaging just 0.83 points per possession when a pick and roll with uh at with Giannis uh as the screener leads directly to a shot turnover or foul so if you're thinking well that doesn't sound that good but I'm not really up on all the basketball analytics fair enough Here's all you need to know about that number. It would have ranked 167th in the regular season among 171 players who set at least 200 ball screens. That ain't good. By the way, that's per second spectrum. Pretty good website for you basketball geeks out there. Guys, I just don't think there's a quick fix for this Bucks offense. Uh, Budenholzer, you know, if you've ever listened to Scott and I, you know that we're not a big fan of the Bood. And I don't think he has the uh, wherewithal. I think he's been out coached by Steve Nash so far. I don't think anything changes in this one. We're going to keep riding the trend that's three and zero so far in this series. Give me the Brooklyn Nets, Milwaukee Bucks under two twenty eight. At the end of that one, you guys can join me as we pick up our winning tickets and head back to the window. All right, guys. Well, you know how I did. Let's check and see how uh, y'all did here for today. Uh, Michael Lee going one and zero plus five hundred. Nice job, Michael. He had the uh, he had, he had the Utah uh, Clippers over uh, the old T train. He's riding it up there to Beer City. He went one and zero plus five hundred. He had the Brewers on the run line. FTF Double A went one and one. He got juiced. Jan Dudley, king of the first five, keeping it going one and zero plus five hundred on the Oakland Athletics. Hard to pick a losing side as long as you had the A's. You could have the A's, you could have the over, you could have the run line, you could have the alternative run line. A's first five, A's team total over. Mm, didn't matter. Didn't matter. As uh, Jackson Kowar 
I'm begging, I'm begging the Royals to let him make one more start because we'll fade the fuck out of him. But uh, I got a hunch he's headed back up I-29 to Omaha, Nebraska. We'll see what happens there. Uh, nice job, Jan, by the way. Uh, Sean O'Reilly went 1-0 plus 500. He had Belgium. Mm, Belgium. Great waffles, great soccer. Nice job, uh, Sean. Teresa O'Brien. Hey, Teresa, nice job. Clean sheet, 3-0 and plus 300. Memon Funderburg, he got juiced. Um, I'm going to take his word for it. He played. He had a bunch of uh, player prop parlays. I was in the middle of figuring it out, and I saw that he had it, and he says, I'll save you time. You got juice, so I'll believe you, buddy. Um, Casino, Casino, not his real name. Uh, he went 4-1 plus 227. Nice job, Casino. And Mike, just Mike, went 3-0 and plus 300. Another clean sheet. Well done, Michael. But your capper of the day, you know him, you love him. He's one of our personal favorites around here. And a darn fine place to eat. It's Buddy's House of Food. Buddy, catching parlay fever and making it work. Going 2-0 and on those parlays for plus 740. Had a two-teamer and a three-teamer. Both on the money line there. Good job, Buddy. 2-0 and plus 740. Buddy's House of Food. You are the capper of the day. Well done. And well done to the rest of you. For the rest of us, hey, it's Sunday. Last day of the weekend, let's go out there and make it cash, all right? You guys have a great day. Good luck on all of your plays. Hope every ticket in your pocket turns into cash money when you head back to the window, all right? Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time. Bye-bye.